Hi students. Today we are going to discuss the topic relation between electronic susceptibility and atomic polarizability when a dielectric is placed in an electric field. This topic comes under electrostatics in matter a unit in the fourth semester BSc physics core paper electrodynamics 1. So let us begin. As you all know, in a linear dielectric medium, the polarization vector P is directly proportional to the electric field E. So that we can write the polarization vector E as epsilon 0 chi E E in a linear dielectric. We also know that when you apply an electric field on a non-polar atom, it gets polarized and the induced dipole moment is given by small p is equal to alpha e. Again, the induced dipole moment is proportional to the electric field. If there are n such non-polar atoms per unit volume, that is, n is the number of non-polar atoms per unit volume or it gives the number density. If n is the number of non-polar atoms per unit volume, then we can write down the polarization vector in this case as n into p because polarization vector is the net induced dipole moment per unit volume or n is equal to a substitute p from this alpha e. So in the first as per the first definition I got in a linear dielectric the polarization vector is directly proportional to the electric field that is p is equal to epsilon 0 chi e e that is equation 1 and in the second one I got uh, the polarization vector as the net induced dipole moment per unit volume that I got it as p is equal to n alpha e. What we are trying to do here is we are going to find out the relation between chi E and alpha. So our, our first inclination or what we feel first is to equate these two equations because the first one is also polarization vector equal to something, second one also polarization vector equal to the, the other thing. So we can equate these two as epsilon 0 chi E E is equal to n alpha E E E will cancel so that you get chi e is equal to n alpha by epsilon 0. We feel like doing this first. This is our first inclination but this equation is only partially correct. It's not exactly correct. So what is, it's not much accurate. It is applicable only when the number density in the dielectric medium, the number density in the dielectric medium is very very low or very very small. In all other cases this relation is not accurate. So what we are trying to discuss is what is the reason for this equation not to be accurate and if this is not accurate then what is the more accurate form of the relationship between relation between susceptibility and polarizability. Okay. So first let us discuss why I told that this equation is not accurate except when the density is very low. Now let us go to the first equation that is polarization vector equal to epsilon 0 chi e e. Here the electric field that we consider is the macroscopic field in the dielectric medium. In the second case where induced dipole moment equal to alpha e here the electric field that I consider E is the microscopic field. When this is the macroscopic field, this is the microscopic field that I am going to consider. What is meant by microscopic field? It is the electric field of everything else. Electric field due to everything else except the non-polar atom under consideration. Here we have written when you apply an electric field on a non-polar atom, it gets polarized and the induced dipole moment is given by this. So, here 
the field that I am going to consider is the field due to everything else in the dielectric medium and the applied electric field except that of the non-polar atom under consideration. So, such a field is called the microscopic field. Okay. So, what happened? Both these fields are different. So, I cannot cancel off like this and write the equation in this manner. So, I am going to, I will tell you later why it is applicable only when the number density is low. So, we have to find out now what is the more accurate form of this equation. Okay. For that, uh, the difficulty in uh, finding it here in, as per this equation is because the microscopic field is something very difficult or almost impossible to calculate because I told you microscopic field is the field due to everything else except the atom under consideration. That is the field due to the free charges, field due to the bound charges, field due to all the other dipoles in the dielectric medium, so many other, all the, all such fields add up to form the microscopic field which is very difficult or almost impossible to be calculated accurately. So, we follow a different route okay, to find out the relationship relation between electronic susceptibility and polarizability. What we do is we consider that the space allotted to every non-polar atom is a sphere of radius r. That is every atom in the non-polar in the dielectric medium is every non-polar atom in the dielectric medium is placed at the center of a sphere having radius r. We are assuming that the non-polar atom is placed in the center of a sphere of radius r. So that the density of the atoms is given by n is equal to number density is equal to 1 by 4 by 3 pi r cube. How could I write that? n is equal to 1 by 4 by 3 pi r cube. Because for one atom occupies a volume, one volume of the sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. One atom is occupying the volume of a sphere that means capital N is equal to 1 by 4 by 3 pi r cube. So that I get the number density. Now we are going to find out what will be the equation for the macroscopic field. E macroscope, macroscopic field. Here I am going to express the macroscopic field slightly differently. I am going to say that E is equal to E self plus E else. Then what is meant by this E self and E else? E self means the electric field, average electric field over the sphere because of the polarized atom inside it. The average electric field over the sphere due to the polarized atom, non-polar atom present inside it. And we know that this E self is given by minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 P by R cubed. We have already solved for such an equation. That is, what is E self? It is the electric field over the sphere due to the uh, polarized non-polar atom present inside the sphere. And what is E else? The field due to everything outside the sphere. The field due to everything outside the particular sphere under consideration forms E else. Okay. Now, with this information, I can write down what is the equation for this induced dipole moment for our atom inside the sphere under consideration. How will I write down the equation for induced dipole moment? P is equal to alpha into E. Now, what is this E electric field? We already know that P is equal to alpha E microscopic. That is, it is because of the, the electric field is due to everything outside the atom under consideration. So, here again we will consider what we won't consider E self. It is induced dipole moment is because of E else. So, P is equal to alpha E else. In terms of this P, I can write the polarization vector capital P. So, polarization vector capital P is equal to n into p or it is n alpha e else. So, p is equal to n into alpha into e else. Okay. So, what I am going to do is in this equation with this much of information, I am going to replace the macroscopic electric field in the equation for the macroscopic electric field e self with this equation and in the place of p, I am going to give alpha e else. What I am going to do? I am going to uh, replace 
E self in the equation for the macroscopic field with E self is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 P by R cube. And I am going to replace P with alpha E else. Okay. So E is equal to E is equal to E self plus E else. That is equal to E self is this. Minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 P by R cube plus E else. P I am going to replace with this. Minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Alpha E else plus E else. So what do I get? I take the common factor E else out. So that I get 1. I am uh, considering the first term. Minus the second term. 1 by alpha by 4 pi epsilon 0 into there is an r cube here sorry r cube into e else is equal to capital e now this 4 pi r cube i'm going to replace it with in terms of the number density i have told you number density is equal to 1 by 4 by 3 pi r cube here so that 4 pi r cube is equal to 4 pi r cube is equal to 3 by n i replace it here so that I get E is equal to 1 minus alpha by epsilon 0 in, into 3 by n. So that n goes up and 3 comes here and I, this into E else. So that I can write E else is equal to, I am going to rewrite this equation in terms of E else. E else is equal to E by 1 minus n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. E else is equal to E by 1 minus N alpha by 3 epsilon 0. Okay. So, I have got the equation for E else. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to, as, as in the earlier case, I am going to write down the three, uh, two equations for the polarization vector. First equation, P is equal to epsilon 0 chi E E, where E is the macroscopic field. And the second equation is, P is equal to N alpha E else. In this case, it is n alpha e else. And e else, I am going to substitute it from here. So, that it is equal to n alpha e else is equal to e by 1 minus n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. So, now what I can do? I can equate these two and I can cancel off e and e because both are the macroscopic electric fields e. Okay. So, what I do is epsilon 0 chi e e is equal to n alpha e by 1 minus n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. I cancel E E so that I get from here what do I get? I get chi E is equal to n alpha first term divided by this epsilon 0 divided by epsilon 0 into 1 minus n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. So this is the relation between susceptibility and atomic polarizability when a dielectric is placed in an electric field. See, this is the ac more accurate expression, I can say, for the relation between chi E and alpha. Now, when the number density becomes very, very small, that means this term becomes very small. So, that n alpha by 3 epsilon can be neglected and chi E becomes equal to n alpha by epsilon 0. I told you in the beginning, even that can be considered, that equation can be considered when the number density is small or low. So, uh, the more accurate expression for the relation between chi E and alpha is chi E equal to n alpha by epsilon 0 divided by 1 minus n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. Okay. So, we have completed the relation between chi E and alpha. I think this part is clear to you. Next, what we try to do is we are going to find out the relation between di the dielectric uh, constant K, dielectric constant K and the atomic polarizability. Here the dielectric constant is a macroscopic property of the dielectric material. Whereas alpha, the atomic polarizability is the property, it is an atomic parameter. So we are going to find out the relationship between a macroscopic and a microscopic quantity. A macroscopic parameter and an atomic parameter. Okay, so how do we do this? We simply substitute for, you know the relationship between susceptibility and dielectric constant. That is, uh, susceptibility is equal to K minus 1. 
So I am going to substitute this in our equation in the relation that we have just found out. Before that we do some mathematical rearrangement that is chi e is equal to n alpha by epsilon 0 into 1 minus we got n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. Now I am going to take the LCM of that in the denominator so that I get 3 epsilon 0 minus n alpha by 3 epsilon 0. Epsilon 0 epsilon 0 can be cancelled so that I get this 3 will go up. So you get 3 into n alpha by 3 epsilon 0 minus n alpha. Now I am going to cross multiply. So that I get 3 chi e epsilon 0 minus n chi e epsilon 0 is equal to 3 n alpha. Now I am going to uh, bring all the alpha terms on one side. It is not n chi e, it is n alpha epsilon 0. So I am going to take this alpha term to the other side. So that I get 3 chi e epsilon 0, 3 chi e epsilon 0 and n, it is n alpha not epsilon 0, n alpha chi e. So that this is equal to 3 n alpha plus n alpha chi e. That is equal to 3 epsilon 0. In the place of chi, I give, I give k minus 1 is equal to, here I am taking the common factor alpha out and 3n plus n into chi e. In the place of chi e, I am going to give k minus 1. So, we can simplify 3 epsilon 0 into k minus 1 is equal to alpha into 3n into 3n into n into k minus 1. From all these, I am going to take the two terms. I am going to take n common factor out so that, so that I get n into 3 plus k minus 1. So 3 epsilon 0 into k minus 1 is equal to alpha into n into this, the terms inside the bracket will be equal to k plus 2. So that I get the equation as alpha is equal to atomic polarizability is equal to 3 epsilon 0 into k minus 1 divided by n into k plus 2. So I have got the relationship between or the relation between atomic polarizability and the dielectric constant. This equation that relates the macroscopic quantity that is the dielectric constant of the medium and the atomic parameter atomic polarizability is called clausius mosotti equation. The importance of this equation is that, as I've told you, uh, as I just told you, it relates a macroscopic and a microscopic quantity together. So, alpha is equal to 3 epsilon 0 k minus 1 into n into k plus 2. What we did here is we just substituted for chi equal to k minus 1, chi e equal to k minus 1 in the relation between susceptibility and atomic polarizability. So, in this class we have or in this session we have discussed the relation between atomic polarizability and susceptibility and we have also derived the clausius mosotti equation. I hope it is clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, please do contact. Thank you.